Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing today, well, I've been having some issues with the old e-machine desktop computer again. Not with Windows updates, but basically with its CMOS battery. And I'm going to show you how to change the uh, CMOS battery on your desktop computer like this one. It's very really simple. I don't know what's wrong with it. Every time I boot it up, it seems like it loses time, but it keeps the date. I'm kind of like confused. I don't know what's going on here. You know, it's like, I mean, this is going to be the third time going to be replacing the battery on the e-machine computer, and I'm going to show you what you got to look out for, what type of batteries to get, basically. Uh, see, like something like that. But let's go ahead and unplug everything from the back, get this off of here, put it on my desk, check the voltage of the battery with my multimeter, and see what's going on. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's have a little fun with computers again. Here is the e-machine desktop computer on my desk. Now, the one thing you should always have is a ground strap or an anti-stack mat on your desk. But, problem is, I do not have any of that kind of stuff. I'm going to be very careful monkeying around on the inside of my e-machines, computers, a holder, and ports inside of this machine. Basically, you only have two screws, but I don't bother with those. I just have those off. And I basically just take the access panel off of the computer itself to get access into the system. Now, one thing is, always ground yourself to the case. Anytime you're monkeying around with the computer. And make sure everything is discharged from the actual system. Now, there's a couple things we're going to need. A, a multimeter, like this one right here, to check the battery voltage on the battery itself and see what the issue is with this battery. And basically, there's was the battery right there. And basically, this is the guts of the computer. Let's go ahead and pop out that battery and check the voltage. I don't know what's wrong with this, this wheeled somewhat, I should say. Before we take the battery out of the old e-machines motherboard, let's go ahead and check the voltage on this brand new one. Alright, that's your negative side right there, your plus is on top. Basically, what we're looking for is uh, the right voltage. Uh, 3.3 3 volts. Oh, that's a good battery. Let's go ahead and gently pop this guy out of here. We might need a screwdriver. I'm going to try my best to pop this guy out of here. Yep. There's the old battery right there. Let's go ahead and try to clean the battery here. Let's put this guy out here. Okay, there's the old one. The new one is right there. Let's go ahead and check voltage on the old one. And I say the voltage on the old one is 3.15 volts. Oh, that's not too bad. But I don't know what's going on with this uh, computer on why it's losing its time. And basically, just make sure you pick out the right battery for your computer. This one is 2030. That's the correct 
batteries. Now, I'm not opening these. These are brand new. I'm going to keep these sealed. And like I said, it's all good. Let's plug it in and see if it'll keep its time. Once you replace the battery and you got everything connected back on the back of the computer, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if we can get the time and the date to stay set. Let's go ahead and turn this old beast back on. Basically. Hit the power button. And again, these are the batteries I bought not too long ago. And this computer is a little bit old, but you know what? Don't worry, don't freak out if you lose the time and date on your computer. Basically, if you get stuff like this, just hit a OK button to continue to start. Or whatever on types of buttons you can use on your keyboard. Yeah, fooey. Sometimes it gets a little fiddly when it has to reset its time and date, basically. And I'm going to show you once this computer finally wakes up and boots up, but it's very simple to replace the battery on your computer. But I don't know why it keeps dying and it's constantly plugged in. I don't know. But I'm waiting for this computer to boot. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what I mean. You replace your old battery with a newer battery. Let's go ahead and reset up the date and time on the old e-machine desktop computer. It's very really simple. It's not difficult. Don't freak out because you change the CMOS battery and you lose all your settings and stuff. But sometimes that would happen when you had to basically change out the battery. That's just a backup battery for the time and date, basically. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Alrighty. Here we all finally all booted and ready to go. And basically, you can kind of see down here. That is the long time and the long date. Alright, let's go ahead. Go to your uh, start menu. Go to control panel. And what you're going to look for is right here. Time and date. Okay, this is where you're going to go. Change clock and time. It's very simple, okay? It is now 2017. And basically all you're doing is scrolling to where you need to go to get to 2017. Sky calendars here. Almost though. Give me a couple minutes. Okay, it's mulch. 30th, right there, okay, time down below is 4, 19, and once you get everything set, let's hit the OK button, hit the OK button, and now, you should have the right time and date. Very simple to change out your dead CMOS battery on your e-machine desktop computer. Alright, if you guys and girls are brilliant on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching.